So here we are again on the tools and uh, what I wanted to do today was take advantage of what's normally a bit of a pain and that is crack repairs. Now the first thing I should say is they're not really repairs because there's no chance that we can actually pour a resin in there and suspend or prevent uh, you know, something that weighs tons from separating or moving again. So it is a patch or an infill. And there's a number of different ways you can do those sort of repairs. So what I wanted to do today was just show the different types of repairs and have a bit of a chat about them where you'd use one over the other and um, see what your experience is and, and what your thoughts are. So let's get into it. So the first type of repair is, is really just to mix up resin, get it into a container that you can pour. Lots of people have sauce bottles. I prefer this bottle that has elongated uh, like an oval shaped hole in it, you can cut it to whatever the size, like whatever diameter you want. And, uh, and really what you're doing is you're just pouring it into the, into the crack that you've cut out and then putting sand on top. So let's, uh, let's get that going. Now with these types of repairs, I always like to overfill. Because if we overfill, then uh, we grind it flat tomorrow and you won't be able to see it. If you underfill and it sucks in a bit, then you're going to see the repair tomorrow. So we're just using the, the channel as, as a bit of a storage, uh, storage vessel, I guess you can call it. Doesn't matter if you go over, if they're just losses. Keep in mind you have to grind it off tomorrow, so um, it makes sense to, to try to control the resin to where you want it. get tempted to just leave it uh, as, as straight resin the problem is that it will inevitably draw into that crack so if you don't put any sand into it you will see it sink I like to let it sit there for a little bit and if I see that it's drawn right in well then I'll actually top it up before I then pour the sand onto it so at the moment it's it is sinking in a little bit there I'll just keep filling and um, come back to it in a second little it's looking good. How you choose to get the sand on there is, is kind of irrelevant, but some people will use their hands. I'll try to control it in this way. Some people will want to top that up again with, with resin over the top and uh, wet out the sand that they've put onto it. That's okay too. What we might do is uh, I might top up some of it so that we can see the difference between topping it up and not. You see that the sand when it lands on the resin is helping it draw in uh, because of the, the high density of the sand and that's why you can see it now sinking in in different places so I kind of like that I'll keep topping it up make sure that we're overfilled so you can see with this method here it's um, it's quite laborious it's multiple step I do think you'll get a lot of penetration into the crack compared to something that is pre-filled but it's a it's a painful way to do repairs and um, I'll just keep going at it until this is this is all set and then um, I'll show you another another type of repair. <laughs> 